Hello friends, today I am going to tell you about Diddlecaster. It is basically a CG, character generator, and it is mainly used to design text and graphics, overlay advertisement. Now I'll tell you how to design graphics or how to work in Tittlecaster. Firstly we will create a new composition and to create this we will click on the new button which is at the top left corner. For making any graphics package, it is mandatory to create a composition first. Now when we click on the new button, the text field with name label is highlighted and this text field is left to new button. This text field is used to give name to our composition and while typing the name of composition one should not use special characters and white space in between name. Suppose for now I am giving name testing and after typing name I click on the save button as I press the save button a new composition is added on the right side or right panel, you can see. In this way you can make a number of compositions and remember that the name of each composition must be different from one another. After saving composition now we want to open a particular composition and for this we will click on composition which is on right side or panel, now when we click on the composition it will load on the screen. In this way we will save as many composition as we need and by double clicking on composition we can load them. Now on the top panel, import button is given just after the save button and this button is used to import composition and just after import button. Export button is also given which is used to export composition. Reload composition button is given which is used to reload the current composition. Next comes clone button, this button can be used to clone a particular item or composition which means a same copy of particular item or composition is created. Next is delete button with cross symbol and by this we can delete any selected item and how it will be deleted I'll tell you later on. Next comes alignment buttons and it includes six types of alignment buttons which are as follows, left align, middle align, right align, top align, center align and bottom align. As the name suggests, the left align button is used to align items left, middle align button to align items to middle, right align button to align items to right, top align button to align items at top. Center align button to align items to center and bottom align button to align items to bottom. Next is alpha button with 0 to 100% bar. By the use of this button we provide transparency to any particular object. Next given is add text button with label T. When we click on the add text button a new text field is appeared just below the add text button and in this text field we write only still text and a save button is also given, attached to right of text field. Once we click on the save button, the text written in the text field appears on the safe video area. As we can see the text consists of three colors such as black, white and light blue. As this text is still so it will not move or scroll, it can only be positioned manually and it can be positioned anywhere on the safe video area. Now here comes the use of clone button, suppose we want another copy of this text so for this we will select the text we want to copy and then we click on the clone button, once the clone button is clicked, same copy of that text is created on the safe video area and if we want to delete the item or text then we have to select that item or text and click on the above given delete button. Similarly if we want to align the object or text in safe video area then we will click on the above given align buttons to align the object or text in respective direction. We can manually move the text by clicking on the right button on the mouse and hold it to move text anywhere and release it once it is positioned. After positioning the text we can see the X and Y coordinates here. If we want to change the font of this text then we go on to the font option provided on top panel and choose the desired font from the listed fonts and on right font size is given we can select any size given in the list. Font properties are also given if we want our text to be bold then we click on bold option, if we want italic then click on italic option and if we want underline then click on underline option. Strike out option is given, uppercase option is given, lowercase option is given and tittle case option is also given. Next given is the three color options by using these three color options we can make our text look attractive. 
Next given is outline option with size and three colors and by the use this size and color we can make our text outline size and color accordingly. Next if we want to make our text transparent then we will choose alpha button to make our text transparent as per need from 0 to 100%. Now when we save this still text after applying all changes then it will save on the right side with all changes done. Now whenever we load composition it will appear same as we saved it. If we want to enable background behind our text then for this BG Alpha option is provided with range 0 to 100% and a single color option. When we raise the range from 0 to any number then background will also change with respective color or the color which we have chosen. This is how we can change the color of background set background range. If we want to reset background then we will set the range option to 0 again. In the same way we can add multiple text or layers on the safe video area and apply all above properties to it. Next given is horizontal scroll option just next to add text button. When we click on this button text field is enabled same as we are doing for still text. Now we type the text in the text field and save it by clicking on the save button. Once we save, the text will start scrolling on the safe video area. After that we can apply all the properties as explained before. We can make a number of composition and we can set position accordingly. Scrolling speed can be adjusted by the above given option if we set the option in minus values then it will scroll on the left side and vice versa means if we select any number above zero or not a minus value then it will scroll on the right side. Similarly vertical button is also given what it will do is that the text appear to move vertically and rest is same as explain right now. As you can see music caster is coming on top of air caster and if we want to change their order then for this, we have two options, first we can right click on mouse and see bring to front. It means our selected text comes on front of other text. Next is send to back it is used to put our selected layer at back of other layer. Next send to top it bring our layer on top of every text or layer. Next given is convert to text. Right now our text is still and we want to convert it into scroll then we right click on mouse and select convert to horizontal scroll. If we want to convert it into vertical then we select vertical scroll. If we want convert horizontal scroll to text then we select convert to text. Now our text becomes still. If we want to delete any item then we select our text or layer which we want to delete and click on delete button. This is our all properties, how to still text, vertical scroll and so on. All these are basically used to run a full screen scroll graphic. Next if we want any special time, so for this, there is a ready made button, we will select this button and set time format in we want time to appear. Now we click on OK and we can see that our time is appearing on safe video area. Now come ready made date, we select date and format of our choice and click on OK button and it will appear on safe video area. We can drag this anywhere on the screen where we want to position it and we can also change the format if we want to change, color and font can also be changed. Now in layer option all layers are there and if we want to hide any layer then we select that layer and its name will come on top left corner and if we air caster then it is showing text 5. Red color text selected item is coming with the name of selected file. If we want to hide the layer then we select this and click on hide button and for removing it we click on remove button and now we save it. Now for how much time we want to display this composition, then for this we go to duration tab and set our duration time. When composition loads on display, then it comes with a particular and to set this speed we use in speed and out speed tab. 
in this way I told you the features of a top panel and we are only left with add image option. If we want to add an image then we use this button and next button is add flash, it is used to add advertisement made from Swiss flash. While adding SWF advertisement, one should remember that size should be finalized before adding the image in Tittlecaster as the size of file cannot be resized and if we try to do so then physical memory of PC get dumb and when we want to use multiple advertisement then there is a possibility of system crash. Better way to avoid this problem is that we use PNG sequence by adding any PNG sequence through add sequence button. Now we click on add image button and we can see a browse path is available in front of us and select any image and open it. In this way image is added and we can drag this image anywhere by holding the cursor on it. If we want resize image then we have to double click on it and change size but we cannot move it and if we want to move image again then we double click on it again. In this way we can add multiple layer as per our need. Third button given is add sequence, when we click on it, browse option appear and suppose I select breaking news folder and in this there is a sequence of PNG files. Now we select first file and we see animation start appearing on screen. If we want to resize it then we double click on it and resize accordingly and if we want to bring it back on actual size then we click on reset button. Now after adding sequence, we need to remember one thing, there are three options loop, one time and one time hide. Loop means, if we add any sequence then it will loop through continuously and in one time, the sequence will complete and get still and do not loop again and in one time hide the sequence comes and animate throughout completely and hides automatically. Now loop means it will come and loop again and again. One time means sequence will animate one time and then become still and one time hide sequence will come and animate and automatically hides. This features are on top panel and by help of these features we can add images, flash files and sequences. There are unlimited layering option but to remember one thing that sequence size do not get over it should be according to our graphic size otherwise our physical memory gets dumped and system crash changes will increase. Now comes display resolution, it is most important thing, it depends on our resolution size, we have to design our compositions resolution according to our output size. Suppose our output size is 1280x720 then we will design our composition according to this size and if the output size PAL 720x576 then we will design according to this size. Main thing to remember is output size and then design our composition output size. First we will add new composition and we will name it ticker making and then save it. After saving the composition it will be added on right side. Now we click on ticker tab and then we click on add ticker button and after clicking on button a shape is added on the safe video area. Now we can resize this layer according to our need by stretching it from sides. Then there is given ticker type and crawl is selected. Next property given is BG shape, it is used to give different shapes to our layer. Next we will set color for this shape and for this we will select color tab. Here we see that three color options are given and from that we will set color for shape. Next given is gradient option and in this we can set our gradient properties as linear, path, center, corner etc. And addition to this we also have an option to set gradient vertical, brightness and angle option.
Now just like this shape or ticker we can add as many ticker as we want to add by clicking on add ticker button, there is no limitation to it. Now we will add some text to the ticker and this can be done selecting the content maker button. Now when we click on this button a new window is opened and in this a new button is given. This new button will provide content for our ticker and if we have multiple tickers to work on then for each ticker we will select add button to add text to it. In this way we can add text to ticker on which we want to add. Now a delete button is given for deleting content and next to it save button is given for saving and content. Now we write some name in name field and click on the save button, our content is ready. Now for adding text we will click on new line button to add text, after clicking button a new row is added and now we select font from given default fonts. Suppose I select Ariel and now we start typing in our row title caster horizontal scroll, now we save this text and a line is added and we can add multiple line as per our need. Now we click on new line to add one more line and name it as air caster horizontal scroll. and for more line I click again on new line button and a line is added and I name it as music caster horizontal scroll. Now we select all three line and set the color to white, after clicking save button, the color of all three lines change to white. Now we close our content and get back to ticker and now we want to add content to it which we have made just now, so for this we will go on to ticker file given on bottom and now here we select a drop down arrow and we can see that same file is there we just made and when we select this file the text written on it appears on the ticker. Now we think why this text is crawling? It is because we have selected the crawl option while selecting ticker type. We can select different options from it now you can see when I select roll it starts rolling when I select ticker horns option it fills out the content in ticker and if we want to change size of the text in ticker we will select text size option to set size accordingly. Now we can see in crawl option our text is crawling from right to left and we can align the side of ticker accordingly or we can set from where it should come and where it should disappear. Now we select ticker type as ticker horns and click on link button to link text to ticker. This is text size button to set size accordingly. Ticker text alignment button is also given with text options as follows align left, align middle and align right. Now from below given alignment properties we can align our text accordingly and just below text image align properties is also given to align image accordingly. Now we comes on ticker effect and this property will work only for two ticker type options, ticker horns or ticker vert. Now after selecting ticker horns we comes on property fade and when we select fade in and fade out property we can see that our text starts taking effect as first line text appears first and second line text appears second and so on. And we can set display interval for our text and fade in speed and fade out speed accordingly. 
Now there is an option given move in and out with options top, bottom, left and right. And can set according to our need. Similarly two other options are also given blur and squeeze with same options X and Y. We can use two or three effect parallelly as per our need. Now comes ticker BG with three options shape, image and sequence. In shape we have some default options, if we want our desired ticker background then we will select image option in ticker BG and click on the browse button and then we will browse our desired image from there and select it. Now we can see that our selected image is appearing over default background shape. In this way we can add our desired image or background over text accordingly. If we want some animation in background instead of still image then we will select sequence option, click on browse button and select an image and save it. Now we see sequence option comes in effect. We can select different tickers with same text and set properties accordingly. If we want to give outline of the ticker then we can set outline width according to need. We can set outline color also. There is also an option for how many line or text rows we can select in a ticker we click on to then two text lines starts appearing and so on. It is basically used for breaking news or flashing news and it's very simple and easy method. There is one more property for color, we can set the transparency of our ticker by adjusting these three color option. We were taking about ticker properties and we start today by ticker width and in this we can set the desired width of our ticker by selecting the width size and similarly we can set height for our ticker by selecting the height size accordingly. Now comes on ticker effects, in this we first select our ticker and now we can see there are few properties given. We first comes on move in property and in this we have few options with us. Suppose we select left option in move in, so we can see our text moves from left side and we can set in delay by selecting delay option and set time accordingly and fade option is also given. In this way, move out is given with same options as in move in and we can set move, out delay time and fade and blur accordingly. Now once we save these ticker with our desired properties, so after saving ticker, when we load our ticker or if we want to see preview of ticker then we click on the play button given on top panel and we can see that our ticker loads with our properties and in this way we can make our ticker looks attractive. Hello friends, I'll tell you how to give text shadow and glow to any text. First we link the text and then we move on to the effects option. We see shadow option is given and now we select ticker and enable shadow option and now we set color for shadow and save it and we see the color of text with shadow is appearing. Alpha is given to set transparency and blur is given to blur our text. Offset X and Y coordinates are given for text. Glow is given, it is used to give glow to our text means to highlight in better way. Next given is blur, it is used to blur selected text or any text we want to blur. Now come layers options, it tells us that how many layer are there and how many we want to use and for this we can select hide option if we do not want any layer to be shown on the screen. As you can see this layer is behind this layer and we want this ticker on top then we select it and click on show. Or we can also do this by clicking left button on mouse and selecting bring to top. 
Now come date and time options and in this if we want to show date, time and day on single ticker then we first add a new ticker and set size to 300 and we now change the color of this ticker to black and merge this ticker onto the existing ticker. Now we select date and time option and in this if we want time then we tick on time option with our desired format and for date we select date option, similarly for day and now we are provided with text color, outline color, outline size and font name. After adding all the properties we click on add content button and now our file date and time is enabled in ticker file option and we select our file from there and click on link button and we can see now our ticker is appearing on the safe video area and first come our time, day and date. So in this way we can add date, time and day in single ticker. Text can be adjusted by selecting text size option. Alignment can be set from Alignment option. Now there is one more option given timer, if we want to add timer then we add ticker and adjust size. Give color to it so that it looks different. from date time ticker and now we uncheck all other options and check only timer and also set time means for how much time timer it will appear and then we click on the add content button. Now a new file is added as timer in ticker file option. Now we select our file and click on link button, so it starts appearing on screen. Similarly stopwatch is also given and we can add stopwatch by adding one more ticker and set it accordingly. Now one more option is given, update, if we want to update our ticker, then we select our file and and change our properties, click on the update button and then load the file by clicking preview button. In this way we can update our tickers and can link and unlink accordingly or as per our need. Last option given is input text and now we add new ticker and adjust it accordingly by giving size and color to it. Now we can type text in input field, it at basically to fire instant input to ticker. When we click on save button text start disappearing on ticker and if we want to add any RSS link to it then we feed RSS link in text field. Suppose we go to the browser and type news RSS feed URL. and click on the second link and then we select top stories link and click on the view feed XML and then we copy the link from address bar and paste it onto the input text field and check the RSS box so when we save the ticker then we see that direct feed from that channel is start appearing on the ticker and on this we can apply any given property to it on this we can apply through Content Maker, we create text which are linked from ticker. Direct shortcut is given for Content Maker and you can also use it on network. How we generate text, we will tell you in Content Maker. Click on Content Maker, then we can see a new window is open. 
we can make unlimited content from here, first we click on new and name it as scroll text and save it. Next given is save line button, now we click on new line button, a new row is added. Now we select font in which we want our text to be and form here we set the color of text. Size of the text is adjusted automatically by the ticker, no need to set size manually. If, we want to write text in Urdu then we enable RTL button. Now we type in here and save it. Now our first line is saved and this way we can add unlimited lines. Now I make a one more line and save it. If we want to change the color of all lines, then we select all line and can change the color and font. If we want to change the particular line then we select that line and change the font and color. If we want to delete any line then we select that line and by pressing delete button on keyboard we can delete it. If we want to copy any text then we select it and press ctrl plus C and if we want to paste it somewhere then we press ctrl plus P. In this way we can cut paste it by pressing ctrl plus V. Now we add image bullet. Click on add image button, then add one image as a bullet. Now when we added bullet, we can see that remaining lines are now having a column for adding bullet with cross button. Now when we double click on that button, it opens up a window asking to browse any file and from here we select any image and it will be added here. If we don't want to add in bullet to any line then we left it as it is. Now, if we want to add sequence to our line as if now we have added image bullet, or we want to add an animated bullet, then for this add sequence button is given. Now we click on this button and browse any PNG sequence which is fully animated. And now we can see that after adding sequence, a sequence column is added in front of all the lines. Now a button is enabled to add any sequence directly from there. Now after doing all this, we save it. Till now I told you how to add images bullet, and animated bullet. But if we are encountered with a text which is a mixture of two or three like English, Hindi or Urdu then in that case how we make it. For doing this, we select any text line and click on T button and after clicking it we can see a new column named as text is added in front of all text lines. Now in this column, we first select the desired font and start typing the text same text which we typed in other language.
Now we can change column position according to us by simply dragging it from mouse, where we want to position it and now after all this we save our file and close it. Now we comes on ticker and for linking the text we just created. In ticker, on bottom there is an option ticker file is given and select the ticker and now select the file we just created and link it. Now you see, the text we created starts scrolling, firstly it is in English as we first typed it in English and next it comes in Hindi. Now come the image, which we added after text. This is our still image and next comes animated image and in this way we can add multiple lines. Now we make a new content and name it as new text breaking and save it. Add a new line and type the name. Now select the line and click on T button, a new text column is added and we again copy the text and paste in it. Again, we add one more text column and paste same text here also. Now we rename second text as text 1 and third text as text 2 and save it. Now we click on save line button, after doing this, We can see that in single ticker all three text are coming. This is used when we want to show full screen breaking news or half screen breaking news. If we want to delete any content file then select that file and click on delete button. Here, three options are provided bold, italic and underline. We can select our file and use these options by clicking on it. This is all about Content Maker and through this you can generate ticker and can make multiple ticker. Now, I will tell you about PIP advertising. Here we design the graphics on which to have video squeezed, like L-Band or I-Band advertisement. To create PIP advertising, first make a new composition. Now let's add the L-Band graphics. Now, as much of the graphics are area blanks, we have to squeeze the video. So now we will set the size of the video with the help of height and width option. And from here we will move to set the screen. So this composition is ready. Now we can run it from time play graphics in the Aircaster Playout software. You can position your graphic according to your playout. For this, we first go to check background and select option Aircaster and after that we can see our playout video is visible on background. Now, according to our need we position our graphics. Now, suppose I place this here and this one just below to the first one. Basically we can position our graphics according to our theme. As we are getting the video preview here, so it gets easy to position our graphics as we are getting better view. After positioning our graphics we again uncheck our check background option and save it. So, this feature is very useful as we are able to preview our video, so it makes it easy to position our graphics at right place.